what he did best, passing the rock. There we go, with very happy with that. Oh, hey, 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 Arvidas bonus, and there we go with a gold. I, I mean, this was a phenomenal pack. Welcome to the most passionate content for card collectors on YouTube and possibly the whole entire internet. As usual, I am your host, Jake Roy, 90s b-ball cards here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and sometimes a little bit of TikTok. I think this is gonna be the week, guys. I think we've been talking about it for long enough. I think this is gonna be the week. I think I'm gonna get back on TikTok. Stay tuned for that. So today, I am really excited for a great 90s classic pack opening. So this is a set that was really foundational for my collection, and there are some phenomenal Kobe Bryant rookie cards to talk about, as well as some Jordan Fire, some Penny Iverson rookies. Great stuff from the 90s that we are ready to talk about. Let's jump right into that. Today we are opening up some packs of 96, 97 Collector's Choice. This is one of those sets, like I said at the beginning, that was really the foundation, it was really the cornerstone of my collection. I absolutely loved the rookie cards in this set. I love the rookie class. Growing up in the pictures, I love rookie photo shoot pictures and there were some great action shots, some really fun pictures. You know, stuff like the draft day photo of Allen Iverson, the picture of Kobe with the cast on, we'll talk more about those. So there were a lot of fun things for me to pour over uh, and I love the statistics on the back. Just lots of stuff I loved and the insert that we're really keen in on today are the mini cards. So those were cards that I also really liked and they were a fun chase to get your favorite players because you know, there were a lot of cards in this set and some of the players on the cards weren't as great as other ones and some were phenomenal. So lots of fun stuff there. Uh, this is gonna be a fun opening. The packs that we're opening, I am pretty confident are actually series one packs. We'll talk a little bit more about that, uh, but they don't denote that on the front, but in my experience, what I have looked like series one packs as opposed to the series two that I've opened previously, but we'll find out when we crack in there. So let's jump right in and talk about the fire. All right, here we've got some of the PC cards, so we're gonna talk through these. We're not gonna go through every single insert. We have done a pack opening of these. I will try to remember to link that down in the description where I do go over every single individual insert, but we're gonna focus on what we're really looking at today. So uh, I talked about the rookie cards, wanted to have those here on display and talk a little bit about them. So the Allen Iverson number one pick, this is my guy. You guys have probably seen this card before. If I can pick it up, there we go. So. <laughs> Uh, this is one that I love, that draft day photo of him. They already had the jersey ready for him to go. Uh, him holding that up with his suit and hat and the number one. Uh, you knew he was the number one pick and he was phenomenal. So this is one of those cards that's just uh, a foundational piece in my collection. I have multiple, multiple copies. Uh, you know, not the most valuable card. So if you want to get it, you know, get it while you can kind of thing. It's about a $15 card right now. But in a PSA grade, these things can go for uh, last I looked, it was about $60, I believe. So, you know, a PSA 10 obviously is extremely hard to get on stuff like this, but uh, very fun to think about what the potential of, of a card like this that you pilled as a kid could be uh, today's day and age. So really fun stuff there uh, for nostalgia. And then the Kobe is really the, the heavy hitter in this set. So these cards, you know, think back to two years ago, 2019, if you can think back <laughs> that far. These, you know, this is one of those sets that was really uh, one of the more affordable sets, uh, really one of the least expensive, if you will, sets uh, growing up and still kind of stuck around uh, for a long time. And these were selling for about five to ten dollars. Fast forward, uh, you know, just a year ago, you're looking at closer to 10 to 15. Today, for a raw copy of this Kobe Bryant, you're looking for about $30 to $40. Uh, and then a PSA 10 copy of this card can go for upwards of $900. Uh, if you can believe that, you know, for something that pulling out of a pack was nothing to get too excited. I mean, like I said, I've got multiple copies of the Iverson. I also have uh, three or four copies of this Kobe. So, uh, you know, really cool stuff. And like I said, it, the picture of him there with the cast, uh, that rookie photo shoot picture, it's just a, a really cool picture. I really enjoy that just because it's a, a fun little look at, you know, a younger Kobe Bryant. And that picture on the back, him just looking uh, or trying to look tough against that brick background. Uh, really fun stuff there to, to enjoy. But I do not believe if my assumption holds true, 
that these are series one packs we will not be pulling rookie cards so i just want to talk about those a little bit but these inserts the mini cards are what we're really looking at so the first thing we're going to go over here the uh mini card with uh kevin garnett jermaine o'neill as a rookie and kobe bryant as a rookie is one of the big ones that's getting a lot of the headlines these mini cards are one in every pack so we will be seeing uh one in each pack at least and hopefully we get some of the better players again if this is series one the best one that we're looking at is the one with Jordan, Penny Hardaway, and Sean Kemp. So uh, this one here that we're looking at is right now, again, one that's stuck out <laughs> quite a bit from the rest of the set. Uh, and these are selling for about $20 to $30 raw. Again, if you get it graded and you get a PSA 10, which is very hard for mini cards with the centering and the uh, perforation between the three cards to be perfect. Uh, but those are upwards of... Uh, closer to a thousand dollars actually for this so uh, they are about the same price raw as the base card but in a psa 10 they go for a bit more so uh fun cards to be on the lookout for but again these are a series two insert and the mini card has a, has a long checklist the jordan version uh, i didn't bring mine out i've got multiple copies of that being a penny collector i'm hoping that we'll pull one <laughs> today so you know, wishful thinking not bringing mine out i guess uh, that one raw sells for about five dollars so uh, still not going to break the bank and actually that's a little bit down from a year or so ago so one of the few cards that was selling for 10 to 15 is uh, not getting as much praise today uh, so really cool card uh, for me anyway and uh, many other collectors enjoy it as well so the big thing that we're looking for are the mini card gold so you can see that gold foil down the bottom we talked about this card specifically recently in my shack top 10 video so if you didn't catch that there, these are one in 35 packs. And, uh, you know, you're really looking for the stars. Uh, you can get some, some you know, like Pippin has a, a gold. That's still not going to be worth very much. You're really looking for that one with Kobe that we talked about. This one with Iverson and Shaq is still a good one. And that one with Jordan, Penny, and Kemp is really number two behind the Kobe rookie. So uh, talking about values, again, the Shaq one that we looked at hasn't changed much in a couple of weeks since we had that video. So 10 to $15 is what this Shaq and Iverson and, and Joe Smith there will get you. The Kobe version version with Kevin Garnett and Jermaine O'Neal is significantly more and actually keep, seems to keep jumping each day. Uh, so quoting a price right now, I'll just flash up the eBay comps and you can uh, take a look at those because it, it can be very different from when I'm filming to when you're actually watching this. And then the Jordan version with, uh, like I said, Kemp and Penny Hardaway is another great one. I really enjoy that. And that's going to be about 30 bucks for that one. So not the most expensive if you like this set definitely something to go out and get because uh you know they're not too expensive right now and then another thing i wanted to talk about because there is confusion out there so this one you can see you've got gold just like this one with iverson you've got Shaq on there but you've got three lakers and a lot of times people think that these versions uh that you've got three of the same player or same team members are in these packs they are not there is a version with kobe bryant and Derek Fisher as both rookies and a third player from, I believe it's Eldon Campbell. Uh, those you can't get in these packs. There's also a version with Jordan where he's also on there, I believe, with Steve Kerr and Ron Harper. It probably makes sense to have him with Pip and Robin, wouldn't it? Uh, and then there's also a Magic version that has Penny Hardaway on there along with, I believe it is Nick Anderson and Horace Grant. My memory serves me correctly. So these each were in team sets. So if you're ripping packs, hoping to get these, because these do sell pretty well in the gold versions, uh, really on par with the base, you know, the pack inserted gold version, if you will. Uh, so, you know, looking at something that's got the Kobe Bryant rookie version, uh, you're looking at about $50, $60 uh, if it's raw. So, you know, pretty good ones there, but you can only get those in the team sets for the given team. And when you get the team set, you're guaranteed to get it. So uh, if you're looking to get one that is not a single, then look for the team sets. Those are pretty hard to come by these days. So finding the single is probably gonna be the easiest way to go. So what we're really looking for today is uh, the gold of Jordan, Pippen, or Jordan, Penny, and Kemp. So uh, let's crack in and hope we get some of that fire. All right, 12 packs here. We've got 12 cards per pack. You know I love these with Penny. Uh, so one of the things I did talk about, I believe these are Series 1. In my experience, Series 2 is the one that had red behind where it says basketball. Uh, there were also retail versus hobby. Some of them had Penny. Some of them had 
Jordan. So those were really the two big guys for Upper Deck and uh, they made sure to give the fans what they wanted. So let's crack in. All right. We got the mini card here, not feeling much sticking, which is a good sign. Uh, nobody here, you know, Randolph Childress. We've got uh, David Robinson, who I love, but he's not with any stars. Sean Respert being the third guy, bringing up the end. Okay, Michael Cage. You can see here, we're looking at the numbers on the back of the Bimbo Coles, number 53. So that's a uh, lower end of the uh, checklist. So we're looking at series one here, as I expected. Bimbo Coles, Del Curry, Steph's daddy, love that. Spud Webb with the T-Wolves, he wasn't there for very long. Anthony Peeler, Coalition here is not great, that's always annoying to me. <laughs> Sean Higgins, Avery Johnson, Hersey Hawkins, I like that Charles Barkley, very nice. Looks like we've got a Pacers Fundamentals of Rick Smiths. And I love this subset, Penny. It's all Penny. They're all different pictures uh, for all the stuff in there. So those are really cool. We will get plenty more of those uh, and some are a lot of fun. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> we got a bull, not the one we're looking at for, for. Detlef Schrempf, Tony Kukoc, and Dino Raja. So the European connection is strong on that card. Joe Smith, second year you know, potential star at that point. Another Del Curry. There we go. Theo Ratliff. Andrew Lang. Kendall Gill. There we go with another Pacer. Eddie Johnson. Zan Tabak with the Raptors. Love that. Elliot Perry with the Suns. Vinny Baker, future all-star, but not a great player anymore. And there we go with the fundamentals for the Hawks. Stacey Ogman and another Penny Love it. Let's go to the next pile. All right, no penny subset on the back. Here we go. Rex Walters, Jeff Hornacek, and Mookie Blaylock. Ken Norman. Chris Mullen, I like that. Muggsy Bogues, love that. I'm going to put that here. So this is one we didn't talk about. Meet the Stars. You uh, can't redeem these anymore. So uh, you basically have to answer trivia questions, send it in, hope you get picked to meet one of the stars. Cedric Sabalas. Another Terry Porter. I thought it was uh, going to be a spud web again. Uh, anyway, so or no, Anthony Peeler. So another one that we didn't talk about, Crash the Game. Uh, this is the Glenn Rice. There are gold versions. We'll see if we get one of those. Those can be fun. Vinny Del Negro, another Sean Higgins. Fundamentals with the Kings. We've got Mitch Richmond, of course. <laughs> another Mitch Richmond. All right, I'll put one in the stars pile just to even it out. He's a Hall of Famer after all, you know? Love these checklists, but all right, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Jimmy Jackson, we've got Glenn, Big Dog Robinson, and Calbert Chaney. For the mini card, another Joe Smith. Looks like Stacy Ogman. Another Stacy Ogman. Great photo of him stretching. <laughs> That's the action shot everybody wants. Mark Jackson. Doing what he did best, passing the rock. There we go with a gold Glenn Rice. Very, very bars as my wife would say very nice with the glenn rice gold you crash the game very happy with that charles oakley i like that i don't know i've got memories for that gary trent oh hey 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 arvidas bonus and there we go with a gold the duke connection i i mean this was a phenomenal pack uh getting the gold crash the game and the gold mini card so bobby hurley christian leitner and Grant Hill, not bad at all. Definitely can hope for some more fire, but I mean, that was a phenomenal pack. And then we've got two checklists, both the same. So, I mean, did, uh, I guess you could say well with duplicates, uh, but this was my favorite checklist because you got that great picture, which hopefully we pulled that Kevin Garnett, <laughs> where he's standing with Muggsy Bogues. It's a really fun one. And then you got the, the Penny subset. And the fun thing too that I loved with these checklists is they had the little professor's head next to each card. They rated how cool they thought each card was. So I used to pour over these and I would uh, you know, decide if I agreed with them or not. And a lot of times I didn't because if it was a player I liked, I thought it was cooler than they did. All right, next pack. 
All right, mini card here. We've got the Magic Connection there with the Dennis Scott, Matt Geiger, Travis Best. Not the Magic we wanted, though. Bobby Sura, uh, George Zedek, Lafonso Ellis, another Meet the Stars, Yinkadar, some great 90s names here. Mark Jackson, another Hersey Hawkins, another Elliot Perry, Laymond Murray with the goggles. Those didn't last long for him. All right, one of the Bulls set. So there was a whole subset of the Bulls commemorating their season from 95 to 96. So this one's got Luke Longley on the front and Steve Kerr on the back. I'll put that in the stars, I guess. And this one, we've got Scotty Pippen, win number 70, it says. And then you've got Rodman there with a cheese head. That's great. I love that one. All right, mini card here, Jason Kidd, Kevin Johnson, and Laymond Murray. Pretty good cast of characters there. Tony Dumas. It's Dumas. Jalen Rose, that was when he was with the Nuggets, got traded to the Pacers. Robert Ori, one of the few times he's in that updated Rockets uniform. I know, so in the 90s facts, I just love. Another Meet the Stars. Sean Bradley, tragic accident, but really cool picture there with the with the Hornets court there, and he was not with the Nets for very long, so fun one there. It looks like Derek Coleman, Zan Tabak again, Chris Morris, Jazz role player, Joe Dumars, Hall of Famer. Do I put that in the stars? I guess so. NBA Fundamentals, Loy Vaught, one of those great Clippers, and uh, the NBA Fundamentals of the Lakers with Quick Nick Van Axel. So much fun stuff in here. All right, mini card, Danny Ferry, Mark Jackson, Doc Rivers. There we go. We didn't talk about the Stickums. Sean Bradley, appropriate there. Stickums are in here. Uh, but again, not something that is going to be getting anybody too excited. Terry Mills. There we go with the Luke Longley base. David Thompson. Sasha. Respert. Clarence Witherspoon. Vincent Askew, another Brooks Thompson. Here we go. The fundamentals of the <laughs> double up of the Knicks with Pat Ewing. He's a Hall of Famer. All right, five packs left. Let's get some more gold. All right, mini card here. We've got, who's this? Nate McMillan, Tom Gugliotta, and Blue Edwards. There we go with the Nick Van Exel, Stickums. We're getting a little bit of everything here. Eric Montross. After you get trade to the Mavs, we got Lauren Meyer, J.R. Reed, another Spud Webb, another Blue Edwards, Sharome Wright. Who is this Walt? No, Buck Williams. Different Williams. Pooh Richardson. We got a Fundamentals of the Raptors. Ooh, there we go. Uh, Oliver Miller, and then a Fundamentals of Jordan. Not not the best picture, but love those shoes. You guys know. Whenever there's a Concord's uh, pair in the picture. I'm all about that, Jordan. So, very cool fundamentals there. All right, mini card. We've got the three members of the Fab Five. Jalen Rose, Chris Webber, and Sean King. I'm going to put that one aside. I just like that. Ooh, I love this one of Dennis Rodman. Great photo. Really cool one there. Hey, we're getting some stars, it looks like. Hakeem the Dream. Dino Raja. Eurostar, anyway. Jason Williams, Brent Berry, another Brooks Thompson. All right, there we go with another You Crash the Game of McDice. Uh, Silver, there we go. Will Purdue, Clarence Weatherspoon. Looks like we have Timberwolves Fundamentals. And they put Isaiah Ryder on the front. And then we've got a 76ers. Should have had Iverson, I'm sure, if it was second series it would. But we got Derek Coleman instead. All right, mini card here, Del Curry, Bimbo Coles, and Charles Oakley. Another Eric Montross, Jimmy Jackson, Tyrone Hill, Eddie Johnson, Vinny Baker, Sam Adkins, Wayne Tisdale, Greg Anthony, Mark Bryant, Fundamentals Bucks, that's with Glenn Big Dog, and Fundamentals for the Rockets, with Clyde the Glide, I'll, I'll stick him in the stars. Why not? Two packs left. 
I like that. Back on the map with a Penny subset. All right. We already saw this one. Detlef Shrimp, Tony Kukoc, Dino Raja. Oh, there we go. Very cool. Stickums of Kevin Garnett. I do like that. And it's in good shape, which will be a nice add to my PC. Oh, hey, hey, hey. There we go. Mr. Jordan. Everybody is happy to see him. Welcome to the party. Dale Ellis. Kendall Gill. John Starks. Should I put him with Jordan? Why not? They're friends, right? All right. Mark Bryant. You crashed the game of Pippin. This is a good pack. This is a really good pack. Chris Weber. I'll throw that in there too. Eddie Johnson. Lots of Eddie Johnson today. Oh, and two. I am really excited about how those packs went. I mean, we crush the odds and i have been waiting to be able to say that it's been a while since we've been able to say that we crushed the odds so uh unfortunately i keep missing out on that last pack you know this is the second time that's happened so i gotta figure that out i apologize so i will look to get better at that but in that last pack nothing crazy for value uh but some great stuff that i was really excited about so the biggest thing in there was the mini card which had three hall of famers great power for it so we get dennis rodman Charles Barkley and Carl Malone, those three guys battled it out. I loved watching them play against each other. Lots of fun with that card. Again, lots of other cards in there that we could pour over. I was really excited about that pack, but nothing that was crazy that's going to bring home a whole lot of value. So uh, that was really the highlight there for the mini card. You know, in terms of how we did that mini card gold, one in 35 packs, not necessarily the firepower that we were looking for, but as a Duke fan, I love those, that trio. Uh, and then actually the most rare card that we got was the You Crash the Game gold of Glenn Rice. So that was one in 49 packs. We didn't talk about that because we we're really looking for the mini cards. There is a penny. There is a Jordan of those. Uh, so fun cards there for sure. And those are also redemption cards. So there's a game you could play. You could try and collect all the unredeemed cards with all the different dates some of them were winners that weren't redeemed and not whatnot and there are also the redeemed ones that have foil and there's silver versions and gold versions so lots of fun stuff as a completionist for me to try to hunt down and track down and try to keep track of which ones i have and which ones i still need uh so lots of fun there if you are also a completionist like me and if you like glenn rice and this is one you're missing let me know i'd be happy to get this in a good home so lots of fun stuff there also the stickums we didn't talk about those one in four packs for those those, the meat, the stars, there is an instant win version of that. That's one in 72. We didn't get that. Uh, the ones that we have even still, we can't redeem. We couldn't redeem the instant win. So nothing really to write home about with those. And visually, there's nothing there either. So those are really just redemption cards. Not as cool as the, you crash the game, but definitely fun stuff. And like I said, this was a set that was a bedrock. It was a cornerstone, you know, whatever you want to call it, a foundational piece of my collection as a kid. So we could talk for hours about all the details, all the things that I enjoy, all the nostalgia in these cards. Uh, but if you want to hear more, maybe we'll jump on an Instagram live at some point. We can talk about all the fun stuff in these collector choice cards. Uh, but question of the day along those lines for you is what is the set that really was the catalyst for your passion in collecting and being in this great hobby? Uh, so this was really it. We talked about 95, 96 hoops being the first set that really ripped, but this was really the set that had all those details that I just loved and I couldn't get enough of. So what was that set for you? Or maybe it wasn't a set. Maybe there was a specific card. I want to know what really sparked that passion in you and that fire that still burns strong today. So drop that down in the comments. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New videos like this, pack openings, looks into my PC, collector interviews, and so much more always dropping on Wednesdays. Any bonus content will drop on Fridays. Thanks. We'll talk later.